Welcome to Yankee Stadium. Well, we got some definitive news on Frankie Montas, but we still don't know when he'll be back. He is going to have shoulder surgery. There were reports that he was going to miss up to the first month of the season. He was a little bit slow in resuming his throwing. He's had a shoulder problem since last season. The Yankees traded for him after he was coming back from a shoulder injury. On the season, he ended up going 5-12 and with a 4.05 ERA. 144 innings, 142 strikeouts, 1.1 wins above replacement. Now, it's not exactly encouraging that they don't know the exact problem that's going on in his shoulder. It's going to be somewhat exploratory. Aaron Boone said the best case scenario is that he comes back late in the season. You know, that's assuming they don't find a torn labrum or a torn rotator cuff or something that's going to require a more extensive procedure and keep him out for the full season. You know, it might be something right now uh, where they can clean it up a little bit and get him back on the field. But it doesn't look good for Frankie Montas, and this is not looking like a good trade for the Yankees. The Yankees also suffering a little bit of rotation trouble. Nestor Cortez is going to miss the next few weeks with a hamstring pull. He was supposed to pitch in the World Baseball Classic. That plan has been scrapped. Hopefully he can be back early in April, but I wouldn't count your chickens. They're going to be careful with him. He's a guy who they had to shut down late in the season. But when you look at the Yankees' rotation now, you've got a couple of guys that are iffy. Frankie Montas out for a while. Nestor Cortez you're being careful with. That doesn't leave a lot of room for injuries. Uh, you got Domingo Herman, who is now wearing number zero. You've got Clark Schmidt, who mostly pitched out of relief last year. But other than that, the Yankees don't have a lot of depth in the starting rotation. Remember, they had to trade a lot of their depth, the Ken Waldachucks, the J.P. Searses, to go out and get Frankie Montas. And now that trade looks like it's going to be a total wash. I can't see the Yankees bringing back Montas next season after the shoulder injury. Even if he does come back, shoulder injuries are known to be kind of the death knell for pitchers. Once you got shoulder problems, you're very rarely the same. Ask Corey Kluber. Ask Michael Pineda. So, bad news. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but at least baseball's back. I will be back with Jason Surge on Thursday night for an American League preview. Until then, see you next time. Ball game over.